this is my YouTube channel, Living in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the things to avoid when moving to Virgin Virginia, especially Northern Virginia. So if that's you, if you're thinking about moving to Northern Virginia, you'll want to stay tuned and remember to tap that subscribe button <clears throat> and click the little bell so you get notified every single time that we put new videos out. We have people that are moving and relocating here all the time and they're giving us a call, they're shooting us a text, they're sending us an email, they're reaching out however they can. And in today's video, we're talking about Northern Virginia. So we're getting after it right now. You know, having moved to Northern Virginia years ago, back in the 80s, uh, I'm actually from Philadelphia. <laughs> I lived in Texas, went to school with uh, Roger Stahlbeck's kids, believe it or not. And that's when I lived in Dallas, Texas, years ago. And then I moved up here, well, my parents did, because I was much younger then, to Northern Virginia. And I can tell you, if you're thinking about moving to Northern Virginia, there are some things that you're going to want to know about and you're going to want to avoid. One, and the biggest one, is traffic. At all costs, we're trying to avoid the traffic in Northern Virginia. You know, there's a lot of commuters and government workers and FBI and DEA and military that commute. They live in Northern Virginia and Northern Virginia is like Stafford, uh, Fairfax, Warrington, uh, Haymarket, Gainesville, um, part of Prince William County, uh, all, all of these counties surrounding from Stafford all the way up north. And if that's you, if you're thinking about moving there, you should know your options so you can avoid the traffic. Um, the traffic in Northern Virginia uh, starts in the morning with the commuters um, pretty much around 5, 5.30 and until 8 o'clock. And then you start getting the moms, um, getting their kids and dads getting their kids off to school and stuff like that, that 8 to 9 uh, time frame. And then in the evening, you also have, um, if you're leaving Washington, D.C., you pretty much want to try to get on the road before 2 o'clock. Yes, I said 2 o'clock. So, <laughs> otherwise, you're just going to, especially if you're coming down towards Stafford, uh, Prince William County or Stafford County because the traffic just starts really backing up there um, So really really important that you're um, knowing your options, you know, how are you going to travel? Are you going to have an easy pass? Uh, where you have this white little box and you pay to get on the hot lanes there uh, Are you going to take the train? Um, the VRE the Virginia Rail Express um, there's several different locations uh, here in Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania, Stafford, uh, and all the way up. And then you start getting into the metro and the orange and the blue and the green lines and all that good stuff. So um, I'll drop a couple links down below so you guys can check them out. Um, I'll drop the metro link in there and then also the VRE, uh, different locations and stuff like that. So you too can decide, hey, where do I want to live and how am I going to get to work and so forth. Um, and all that good stuff. So that is one thing to avoid. Um, the second thing that you might want to avoid is getting into a <clears throat> one of these condos or high rises um, because those fees just can start going up and up and up. You know, the maintenance, the older they are, and there are a lot of older, um, especially in Arlington, Alexandria, older um, condo unit so you're going to want to talk to a real estate professional to find out how often the fees have gone up um, we'll get in touch with the condo or the HOA uh, management company and see how many increases they've had um, I <clears throat> you just never know how um, you know if they're putting on a new roof if they're special assessments all that good stuff so you know I say that to avoid them I'm just saying like hey you got to check them out and stuff so number three thing um, that I would say that you would want to avoid is just being on the outskirts. I mean, if you're living in Northern Virginia, you want to be close to the VRE. Um, most people do. They either want to be close to the VRE, they, they want to be close to the metro, they want to be close to the dining and stuff. So being closer, you know, like the city of Fairfax or Arlington or Alexandria, you know, a lot of people like to have that walkability uh, style so there's just lots of things that uh, I would say to avoid, check out. Um, 
<clears throat> all those things that you could um, check out for yourself to find out if that's really what you're looking to do. And again, I'm Barbara Jennings. I grew up in Northern Virginia, so I know all the ins and outs. I remember when Shirley Gate Road in Fairfax uh, was one lane and the closest mall from Fairfax was Tyson's Corner. Um, that's where we did all our shoppings. And now you got Tyson's 2, the Galleria, and just oodles and oodles of different shopping and things that have popped up in all the different counties um, from Stafford all the way going up to Washington, D.C. So if you want to find out more about these different areas, we have discovery tours, depending upon how far out you are thinking about coming. Um, just comment below. We can get you that link, um, get you the discovery tour to let you know uh, all the good things that are happening uh, in and about the area. And it's a self-guided tour. And then if you're coming a little bit sooner, then we can do a Zoom call. And uh, we definitely appreciate you. And until the next video, we'll see you later.